So thank you for joining me. To begin, I want you to find a nice, comfortable position where you will not be disturbed and just let your eyes drift closed. And turn your gaze inward and set your intention. You wish to be protected and guided through this meditation for your highest and greatest good only and you thank your guidance for all the healing you are about to receive. Now bring your awareness to your breathing. We're going to breathe in to the count of four, hold our breath for the count of four, and exhale slowly to the count of four. So let's begin. Take a nice big inhale, two, three, four, hold your breath two, three, four, exhale and release, three, four, again inhale, two, three, four, hold your breath, two, three, four, exhale and release, do this two more times, inhale, two, three, four, hold your breath, two, three, four, exhale and release, inhale, two, three, four, hold your breath, two, three, four, exhale slowly, let it all go, we'll do it once more, inhale, two, three, four, hold your breath, two, three, four, exhale and release, and now totally relax into your position, and on your next exhale, push your energy outwards, so that you are aware of all of your aura and your energy, and a wooden door emerges in your room, this door has a large pumpkin on it. You're very excited to explore Halloween Town and the lessons it has waiting for you. Your energy goes over to the door and turns the handle. On the other side is a long black corridor with steps going down. A light comes out of the darkness and you hear the subtle barks of Zero, the ghost dog, with his bright red nose. Zero will be your guide, your light in the dark to take you on your journey. You follow the flying luminescent puppy and begin to descend the stairs. You feel yourself drifting deeper and deeper into your subconscious becoming aware of the tension you need to release, the stress you need to let go of, fears you need to conquer. Zero bucks as you arrive at the corner of this very interesting town. You see the mayor high on a platform energetically engaging members of the town. To the right of you, you feel the stares of three vampires gliding towards you and then going off in a different direction. Zero barks again and you see Jack and Sally approach you as everyone in town shouts together, The Pumpkin King! Jack and Sally take your hand and they guide you over to the well in the centre of the courtyard. There is a thick green liquid going from the dragon type mouth into the well. This green is representative of your heart chakra. Jack telepathically tells you to take a drink from the well. The energy of this well is abundant and intoxicating. It feels full of love and energy you have given out and you feel a need to balance yourself again. So you dip your hand in and use your hand as a cup. 
and you scoop yourself a small taste. You feel the warmth of the liquid travel into your heart center and you fill up with a wondrous energy of unconditional love and unrequited love, a love of pure understanding and no judgment whatsoever. You take a nice deep breath and you see the whole town smile at you. Sally then telepathically tells you to look at your arms. You look down and see that you have the stitched body that she does. She tells you that everything is okay and that you're here to be completely healed. The doctor in his wheelchair appears in front of you and begins to pull you limb from limb. He dismantles you like a Lego. Everyone is completely relaxed around you and allowing this to happen. Jack and Sally then tell you that they are going to put you back together, this time better than before. You will be put back together with no ailments, fear, stress, anger, tension, and it will be your conscious job to remain that way when you leave this meditation. They put you back together and you take nice, rhythmic, deep breaths. They take a step back and you look at your body. You are back to being human and you are subtly glowing this beautiful light. You have been shed of excess negativity you were unnecessarily carrying. You thank them for their kindness. Zero then barks at you and you follow him. He takes you through the graveyard there is a quiet peace here. It's very refreshing, like things have been released and found closure. You can see from the graveyard a large hillside with a curly end, and the moon is in its full glory, illuminating the graveyard. Zero barks at you to follow him onto the hillside under the moon. You take a seat when you reach the top and breathe in the purifying energy of the moon. Sit here in reflection, just being, not doing or focusing on anything other than the strength of the moon and your breathing.
can slowly come back to the sound of my voice and take a deep abdominal inhale. You're going to stand up where you are and ask Zero to take you back to the door you entered from. Your inner journey is coming to an end and you are ready to return to your daily life better than ever before. You follow Zero down into the graveyard. He then guides you into the forest. As you follow him, you see a little way ahead is a grouping of trees with pictures facing each other. As you reach the trees, you see one has a Christmas tree, one a turkey, a heart, a shamrock and one has a picture of you. This version of you on the tree is everything you envision yourself being, the healed you, the version of you exceeding at your goals, confident, vibrant, content. Pull the energy of this picture of you into your energy. See this become you. This is who you are. You are then going to turn the handle on the tree. You turn to thank Zero for his guidance and he barks to say goodbye. On the other side of the door is the room in which you left your physical body and you very slowly return yourself back into your physical body. You then become aware of the time and space you're in now, of the sounds and smells of the room you're in, of your heartbeat and your breath. We'll bring some energy back into our muscles. Give your fingers a wriggle, give your toes a wriggle. Give every muscle in your body a good squeeze and release and let go. If you are laying down, I want you to place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. And if you're in a seated position, just bring your hands into prayer and let your thumbs rest directly on the sternum in the center of your chest so you can feel your heartbeat. And we'll close with two nice cleansing breaths together. Take a nice big inhale. Let it go. And one more. Let it all go. And open your eyes and smile. Namaste. Thank you very much for joining me. Have a great rest of your day.